started our first vlogs for EDM Fitness, we decided to do a little bit of a video vlog. Here today with my good mate Sam Warmton, as many of you will recognise. Um, just going to do a quick question and answer on things to do with strength conditioning and a little bit about rugby. So first question Sam is how does strength conditioning matter to you from a young age growing up now to be a senior level? Obviously you've been with the academy from the age of about 16 and now all the way through to the senior level. What sort of things does strength conditioning mean to you? Uh, well I've been seriously training since I was about sort of 16 we got to the academy so um, the first thing we did we got to the academy was basically um, strength foundation stuff so um, a lot of Olympic lifts, such like squats, cleans, deadlifts, bench presses, uh, weighted chins, just sort of main compound exercises. The first sort of four years, it's a lot of it's about prepping yourself for sort of the physicality of senior level. So that four years, we quite a lot of volume, um, a lot of emphasis was putting on a lot of weight as well as sort of strength. And then when you get to senior level, um, it becomes a bit more of a power emphasis during the week. So it's more trained to play really, rather than sort of doing all the preparation. So. You've got, the, you've got the base then, so it's a lot of power moves, so we might do some clean jerks, um, some squat jumps, some kaiser squat, um, and so it turns a bit more sort of power when it comes to the sort of business end of the season. Okay, second question for Sam is what are his three favourite exercises in terms of his development for rugby? Uh, a great one for me when I started out was um, did a, lot of, a lot of cleans. Um, there was a real big emphasis on all the academy players coming through to a lot of clean work with the right technique. Um, up the body wise, there's always a, a big emphasis on pull as opposed to push. You know, everybody wants to go in the gym and do bench presses and chest and stuff, but weighted chins would be my second one. Uh, I like a lot of weighted chins. Uh, and thirdly, um, I have a few issues now because my career has gone on my lower back, so uh, as opposed to squatting, there's a lot of sort of load for your back. I do uh, like barbell, maybe lunge to step up. Um, you can do that either with like 10 reps to load up your legs, or sometimes it can be like a power move as well, so it might be three reps each side, drop the weight, uh, and emphasis on technique. Okay, and lastly, uh, just like myself, Sam has had a lot of injuries through his lifetime, both gym-wise and rugby-wise. So we'd like a little message to how you stay positive. Uh, the first thing I do really when I get an injury, so say for example recently I just suffered a hamstring tear, and um, the first thing I thought of was during the season I struggled with impingement on shoulders and stuff like that. So you have to manage that, so then I just set myself the goal. I'm not going to do any running or cycling or anything like that, so I can... Um, work with the body to try and put a bit of mass on with the body. So first I just do some hypertrophy work for four weeks so I get some mass on. Uh, then I can develop the strength and power then as I get into the season. So if you get an injury, look at the body part which is injury free uh, and set yourself a new goal straight away because all of us want to have goals to achieve and um, that's why you're good competitive. So first I do is set myself a new goal and look towards that. I think that's a great message there from Sam, stay positive through injury and a big thanks to Sam for joining us on EDM Fitness.